we have Australia's largest range of tyre brands and sizes. Find a cheaper identical tyre locally stocked and we'll beat it. At Bob Jane t -Marts, we'll look after you. NPL Victoria Women's comes to Amy Park for the first time. Plenty of atmosphere being generated from the South Melbourne corner of the stadium and fantastic to see the South Melbourne and Ashburton Mini Roos walking out onto the pitch here as well with the players. What an experience it'll be for them. What an experience for the players, especially the ones, Christina, who haven't played in the W League, maybe haven't played on this pitch before. Falls to Gummer. Gummer driving it, deflected. Medwin can't get them out of trouble. Amy Cade now with a chance. Malamain trying to move it on. Douglas shooting range for Caitlin Douglas and puts it just over the bar. Ramsey was a spectator of the ball. This is her speed to win possession. So it's a one on two. How can she conjure up? That pass won't help. Martino gets the ball to Gummer. Now South Melbourne looking to repel. Anthony trying to use her strength against Eliadis. Eliadis wins out. Now Devanna. Ayres is lurking at the top of the screen. Devanna, clever through ball. Melina Ayres, a question of the finish. And Ayres scores the opener. South Melbourne won. Alamein nil. Fantastic team move. And Lisa Devanna laying off the assist for the deadliest finisher in the league, Melina Ayres, to open the scoring at Amy Park. Isn't she happy about it? Christina, talk us through the replay. Oh, just a great run. Out to back in, across the drain. Great little ball by Devanna. Great finish. Not much Aaron Hudson could do about it. No. Nope. That is a uh, sub me off if ever you've seen it, Christina. And it's unfortunate for the fans who've, who've come here today, many of them to see Lisa Devanna, no doubt. But this hamstring query that she's had, uh, it seems as though running it off is, is not the answer here. Trying to chase, but Medwin will lead it to the ball. Ramsey. Has to be careful with the pass to Verzi. South Melbourne trying to play out here. Karachi overzealous. Medwin just wrote the contact and moved it on to Gummer. Gummer drives it long, looking for Martino. What a ball! Martino around the keeper. Can she get there before the byline? Turns it back. Greiser! And did it cross the line? The assistant referee is unmoved. The central referee pays the goal. South Melbourne do take a 2 0 lead. And Caitlin Greiser off the bench, onto the score sheet in a flash. Great ball, back at the angle. Natalie Martineau running onto it, round the goalkeeper. But how about this, able to turn it back. Couldn't find Eliadis, did find Greiser. And Jamie Williams had a, a front row view there. South Melbourne were nearly away, they had players streaming through the centre of the pitch. Douglas plays it straight to come up. Long ball. Coleman, defensive header, not a good one. Greiser didn't fancy controlling the bouncing ball there, just went for the shot on side. 3 0 down and then up 4 3 before half time. So they're no strangers to the big comeback. Two, will be nothing unusual. Douglas plays it to Amy Kane. Kane, thoughts of shooting. Parried. Can Lawson get there? No, good save by Ramsey. Turns it out for a corner. Counter attack is well and truly on. And it comes from Pastor once more. Ramsey into the woodwork. And Lux of Fortune back into her arms. And then second goal, Kurt and Greiser on the end of Natalie Martineau's cutback. Gummer clears it into her own teammate. Window of opportunity for Pastor with a left-footed shot. And it bounces across the face. Don't miss it on the Flip TV Facebook page and Flip TV. Flick header on. And Douglas puts it into the side netting. Last five and a half minutes of the first half here at Amy Park. Lights are on. Sun just starting to set. Medwin with a right-footed drive and Hudson able to get behind it and hold on to the ball. See, so my memory is horrible compared to yours. I just remember the photos. It didn't look too well lit. That's all. Nicolacci. Not at Bayside? Not at Bayside. Mm. Mm. Here's Nicolacci. Ah, oh, yeah. She's got yeah, her bearings yeah. here, Nicolacci, but... This one is plucked off the goal line by Aaron Hudson. Just not quite enough elevation on it. I don't know. I think Christina Hall might have uh, stolen the, uh, the number two ranking. Long Sorry, ball. Cindy. Here's Valina Ayres. Galloping after it. Greiser's in the middle. Ayres on the tight angle. Cuts it back. Greiser and no power behind it. Held with comfort. 
we went for a throw and we've had a bit of an action-packed start to the second half, so I haven't been able to ask you uh, too many questions, Christina, but I do have one lined up. Here's oh, Nicolacci shooting from distance and hooking it wide. I don't know uh, why Boxall played in the fluoro orange against the yellow of Heidelberg either. We'll come back to that because Molina Ayres might be away. It's a foot race. Can Williams recover? Question to the finish for Ayres and Williams with a slide challenge that gets a great roar from the crowd. Fortuna 60 club in Gippsland. Here's the corner and it's sliding across the face again this time. Out for a goal kick and Gummer nearly had the decisive touch. Lawson shouts for handball, not paid. Martino plays it to Ayres, had that chance just a moment ago. And now Ricochet, an unkind one for Alavane. Eliadis, can she capitalise? Cuts it across. Riser with all the time in the world. And Hudson able to block it away. Oh, and our eyes are a little disappointing. Um, we're struggling with putting the ball in the back of the net as a collective unit. Um, ball runs on. Riser and hooks it wide. She could have done a little bit more with that. Got a free kick now. Haven't had too many attacking half set pieces, Alamein. Douglas is going to curl this one in. Coleman with the flick. Oh! And Alamein are back in business. Ali Coleman scores the goal. Great delivery from Douglas. And the American has given Alamein a chance. In the 66th minute, it's Alamein 1, South Melbourne 2. Told you, Teo. So it was coming, wasn't it? Well, Coleman has not really done anything in an attacking sense, but that's a no. show of what they can do. I know where she's from, then. Ball, top of the penalty area. Clear away, Argaropoulos on the run. Lawson shoulder to shoulder. Argaropoulos does well. Yeah. Molina Reds. South Melbourne would love a third. Imagine the drive it'll give them. Ayres just wide. Hudson was trying to get across. South Melbourne will go top if they win today. Gummer, corner to the far post. Ayres! Melina Ayres has got her second. And South Melbourne have restored their two-goal buffer. Gummer's corner. Ayres header. South Melbourne three. Alamein one. And top spot on the table beckons. Great delivery and a better header. Great delivery. That, that left foot in swinger. All you need is a little redirection and it's in. And a big celebration. Melina Ayres has really relished the chance to play on Amy Park today. Goals in the ninth and 70th minutes. Of course, scoring a hat-trick in these big games. Big stage, Amy Park live stream. Really does help press your case. Ayres could have the hat-trick right here. It's held by Hudson. Can play as an attacking midfielder, but has been sparingly used this season. Pastor. I think if she was in there, they'd have a little bit more control in the midfield, and the midfield is where you win games. So, as if I was coaching, I'd put her in right away. Pass I don't door. know how much she's got in her, though. Over the bar. A little bit of something out of nothing there, and G is able to recover to an extent. Gummer, under pressure from Minton. it has been stuck of opportunity since coming on. Ramsey controlled the ball. Shield caught in possession. Minton, is this the chance? Pastor's offside. And the shot hit the post in any case. Gee, tight call. I'm not so sure about that. Should we see the replay here, Christina? Thoughts? Let's see. Their line's comprehensively there. A few nervous moments for South Melbourne, but a fourth will relax them. As a shot is deflected into the grasp of Hudson. This has been a physical match. We've been speaking about the size of the pitch and the demands it's put on both teams. Minton, Douglas, led away by Cheel. Back to Caitlin Douglas. He's going to fancy a long shot here. Douglas puts it over the bar. And Ramsey might have had it covered. Back to Lefebvre. Great little turn there. What's the delivery like from Lefebvre? Deflected. And Scorpion-esque kick there from Eliadis to get it away. Ball over to the right. Schroeder. Shoots on the left, deflected, and still held comfortably in the end by Ramsey. Pastor against Chiel in the air. Chiel gets it on to Eliadis, and now Nicolacci trying to hit a through ball. Can't quite connect with Ayres. Greiser, Ayres is waiting. It sits up for Ayres, and that was uh, goal of the year in our sights. Over the head of Ayres, finds Lawson. Still deep in defence, though, Alamein. Baker, first touch off the bench. 
Another former South Melbourne player, Ali Baker. G through ball is this is the moment. Molina is can't get it around the goalkeeper. Hudson with a good hold. Through ball on the right. Kelsey Minton has Lawson in the middle. Can she find her though? Minton, pass door, balls are over. And now Douglas with the follow up, and it was low percentage opportunity. South Melbourne Galaxy in quarter. Do you, do you have anyone who you think is going to go the journey with we've only about one or two games beyond the halfway point of the year? They're all very similar in terms of the style of play. Nicolacci fires over. It really comes down to who competes on the days. Ball's going to run over to the left. It's their time for Alamein to at least prepare the scorecard for one more player to score on Amy Park. Stoppage time is up. Lawson shooting and not enough power to trouble the goalkeeper. All lies on the referee now. We've had the three minutes of stoppage. South Melbourne going to the top of the league. South Melbourne winning at Amy Park. 3-1 the full-time score. Two early goals. Alamein pegged one back in the second half, but South Melbourne had the quick reply. A double for Molina Ayres is the difference between the teams. And handshakes at full-time as South Melbourne prevail 3-1 against Alamein.